Hello, good evening, everyone. This is Karma from Big Ben, your English Academy in San Juan de Spi. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Ens pots trobar al carrer Baltasar d'Espanya, número 58. Y nuestro teléfono es el 93 373 2113. Ven a Big Ben, estaremos encantados de poder ayudarte y poder informarte de cualquier consulta, de cualquier información que desees. Bueno, hemos cumplido 40 años hace nada, estamos recién cumplidos y estamos contentos y queremos celebrarlo contigo. Llevamos 40 años ayudándote a formar parte de un mundo global donde la inglés es la lengua común. Así que no te lo pienses, ven a Big Ben. Calle Salvador, eh, perdón, Baltasar de España, número 58, teléfono 93 373 2113. Ven a Big Ben. School, the teacher Karma. <laughs> Hello Karma, how are you? Well, and you are yeah, fine, no? Okay, yeah, yeah. Y a voy comencem, dígalo en inglés. A voy comencem parlanda de weather. The weather. This is a very complicated moment that we are um, that we are mm, suffering. I say suffering because we are living a difficult situation with our weather. Uh, I promise that in a few programs I will uh, bring some environmental uh, scientists, uh, an expert in environmental science to talk about the climate change. But by now, we are talking about uh, some vocabulary related to weather. Okay, so let's start with what's the weather like? Well, talk about weather conditions. What's the weather conditions? So different weather that we can find. Let's see, rain, rain is when it rains, okay, so rainy, rainy weather. Today is a rainy day. Eh? Quan plou, <coughs> podem dir que tenim un dia plujós. This is a rainy day, or we have a rainy weather. Okay, sun. Sun or sunny day. Sunny day. Uh, sun, Sunday. <laughs> el dia del sol, el diumenge. So, sunny day. Tenim un dia de sol. This is a sunny day. So, remember, rainy day. Sunny day. Cloud. Cloud. So if we have clouds in the sky, we have a cloudy day. It could be, it could rain or maybe not, but by now we have clouds in the sky. This is a cloudy day. Snow. <laughs> Do you remember <laughs> long, long time ago when it snowed? Uh, it's complicated now, I told you. Uh, well, so snow. Let's pretend it snows, so we would have snowy day. S no, sorry, snowy day, snowy day. Yeah, so let's remember rainy day, cloudy day, sunny day, and snowy day. And when we have a snowy day, what we have from the sky? flakes, so snowflakes, eh? it's like cornflakes, <laughs> como els cereals, pero en aquest cas és de neu, so snowflakes, eh? snowflakes that are going down very slowly, huh? this is a very good sensation, I remember some time ago, eh, when I was younger, I live in Vall d'Ebro, a Barcelona, and it was typical, at least uh, once a year, eh, it snow. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember when some time ago, a long time ago, when it snowed, Karma? Uh, yes, I remember. Yeah, it's uh, nowadays, it's um, it's impossible because the weather is changing and, uh, well, we have different, different and hotter conditions. Let's go with wind. So if we have wind, we have a windy day. Do you like uh, windy days, Karma? Uh, windy days, Mm, I don't know. No, mm. no. Windy days is when tenim un dia de molt vent. D'acord. Do you like windy, windy days? Day. T'agraden o no? No. No, me um, neither. My... Me neither. No, no, no. no. They are no terrible. Like. Uh, mm. I end up with some headache. Well, I don't really like windy days. I prefer rainy days. <laughs> okay, let's go with 
when we have a light breeze, eh, pues es un, uh, the wind is softer, eh? light breeze. Es sería, una brisa más suave. Exacto, una brisa más suave, diríamos light breeze. Ok, then we have fog. Fog is very typical from Lleida. Eh? La ah, boira. La eh? boira, sí, sí, sí. A foggy, foggy day. day. Eh, do you like fog, karma? Uh, no. No. No, I don't know. Me like. neither, because um, it makes you feel like isolated, maybe, or it's a sensation, it's a strange sensation, because you just uh, see from your place to two or three meters. So it's, it's a kind of an isolated situation at least from my point. Let's go with storm. Storm, it's, uh, we have a storm with, it's raining a lot. We have very black clouds uh, at, on the sky and it's raining a lot. We have lightning, we have thunder, lightning. Huracan. Exactly, <laughs> a hurricane, hurricane. It's a, a, it, okay, it takes part in a stormy weather. Lightning is al, al llampec, yeah? uh -huh. lightning. Thunder, thunder is altro, y hurricane, it's a very, very strong wind, es al, un, un huracán, or mm. maybe a tornado, tornado, sí. it's a tornado, it's a, maybe it's not so stronger than the hurricane, but tornado, it's very strong as well. Okay, so let's go with another weather condition, frost. Frost is when you wake up in the morning and you discover that your plants are with a little a little drops, but they are uh, little ice drops. Eh, es la escarcha. Sí, eh, a los vidres del coche. Es la rusada. Sí, 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 uh -huh. exactly. We can find it when we wake up in the morning and maybe that night it was a humid night, but it was um, it was cold as well. And you can find... At the, at the, the car, glass. the glass, the car, okay. the car. Mm -hmm. at, the, at the glass of your car, you can find frost. Well, and uh, well, I see, I see it's uh, when something is uh, está gelat y es sería el glass, glass at day. Exact, exact, uh, I see. Uh, we can find ice on our car as well, uh, ice on the plants, and uh, this is icy. And we also have warm weather. Warm weather is, uh, well, for me, it's the best weather. Warm weather is a uh, very soft weather, w soft temperature. It's not cold. It's not hot. Um, normally, the sun is shining. And, well, it's very comfortable living in a country with warm weather. Warm weather is typical from, well, Mediterranean weather in in spring maybe because uh, maybe in well even in summer as well we have warm weather and even in the Canary Islands uh, they have warm weather all year long eh? tenen a las Islas Canarias warm weather warm weather <coughs> sí, yes. doncs tot el tot el tot el any. tot l'any and this is wonderful because you can go to the beach and you can well you can go around without um uh, Uh, worrying about the the jacket, the well, the rainy and so on. Okay, so warm weather. Let's go with words. Another words connected with the weather. For instance, cold. Cold. It's uh, very very. When it's cold, we have cold in winter. Uh, it's cold. It's fred. Exactly. Exactly. fred. It is when we need to put a jacket or maybe a scarf, a cap. We have. Hot, hot. It's in summer. Very, 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 very hot. Sense roba. Okay. Sense dress. Yes. Dress. <laughs> <laughs> Karma, what do you prefer? Winter or summer? Uh, summer. Summer. Okay. Summer is better. Yeah, I prefer summer as well. Sometimes, well, lately it's very, very hot in summer. And it could be uh, a bit uncomfortable. But, mm, well, maybe I prefer hot than cold. And we have... Rainbow. Rainbow. What's a rainbow? Do you remember? Rainbow? No. Re no. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember? Well, when it rains and at the same time we have sun, uh -huh. when a drop of rain touch a ridge of sun, it appears the rainbow. Different okay. colors, 
different colors and it's kind of amazing. Uh -huh. I remember when I was a child, it was a legend that said that in each extreme of the rainbow, you can find some pot with lots of money. It was like a legend, obviously. <laughs> But well, I always thought, oh my God, uh, someday I have to look for the extremes of the rainbow. Okay. ¿Tú no te recuerdas alguna vez te habían explicado que los extremos del, del arco iris, de la de sí. San Martín, y había un, un noy en diners? Sí, ahí se movían de a mí muchas veces con la petita. Y eh sí. yo vas a decir, pues, mai he trobat mai, eh, ningú. Pues he d'anar a buscarlo. He d'anar a buscarlo, oh. home. <laughs> a ver si trobem. A ver si trobem. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, clearly sky. Clearly sky is when we look at the sky and air, all the sky is blue. We don't have any cloud. We don't have, well, any, anything. It's just the sky is blue and we have, and we talk about, clearly sky. sky. Okay. Uh, when we, mm, well, we can say sun keys. Sun, sun keys is when we describe a day. Escalid. Sun keys, Surajat. exactly. It's escalid, it's azulayat. It's very comfortable. The temperature is uh, soft and it's very, well, you can live very comfortable in that kind of situation, in that uh, weather condition. Drizzle, drizzle, it's a way to say that it's casta pluvis cachan, eh? It's oh, a sí. drizzle, 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 it's un pluche. Vale, que es flucheta. Que, okay, que, que, vale. like in, I think it's very typical from some, uh, well, in London, uh, uh -huh. all the times that I have been Today. there, it, it's normally every day you have a period of drizzling, eh? so little, little rain. And then we have hailstone, hailstone, It's uh, the icy stones. Eh, es, es la grossa. Es la calamarsa. La sí, calamarsa. Sí, la sí, calamarsa. Sí. Ice, yeah. And the name is hailstone. Después tenim también, bueno, después ya hablaré más uh, ampliamente sobre diferentes maneras de decir cuan plou. Pero ya ja, para avanzar una miquita dirían downpour. Downpour es un chafe. Uh, it's a copy volta. Okay, uh, and suddenly downpour. you have a downpour and it's just uh, three, four minutes and no more, and suddenly it stops. So suddenly it, it starts raining and suddenly it stops. Okay, They, well, we already talk about the thunder. The thunder is the big sound when it, we have stormy weather. And the lighting, it's the light that we have. It's a jampek, it's the light. Normally it goes with the, the thunder. And, well, breeze is una brisa. Okay, extreme. Let's go with extreme weather events. Some extreme weather events is a hurricane, hurricane. Eh, it's huracán. Huracán. Eh, claro. It's when the wind goes at very, very high speed, maybe 200 kilometers per hour mm -hmm. or maybe 300 kilometers per hour here in our country or even in our continent. It's not usual, but in America, in... Um, In Mexico, in some parts of the United States, uh, sometimes it's typical a hurricane, and uh, the hurricane can destroy lots of things, lots of um, trees, houses, cars. It's quite dangerous. So if you sometimes find in, in this kind of situation, you have to look for some shelter. Shelter means un refugio. Uh, you have to look for that because it could be really dangerous. We have the tornado. It's similar to the hurricane, but it's uh, less destroying. Uh, it's, uh, the speed is not mm, so high, but it's dangerous as well. So, si ens trobem un tornado, també ens hauríem de protegir i sí. també hauríem d'anar amb, amb compte. Sí, perquè tant un com l'altre són perillosos tots dos. Molt, molt perillosos. Què tenim també? Well, heat waves. When the temperature uh, it's very, very high for a period uh, of time, we talk about heat waves. Son las unadas de calor. Uh, this cambia, is... Okay. Ficarnos dentro de, un, de, de casa y no sortir. Exactly. You have to open the refrigerator, put your head. <laughs> because <laughs> for a while, because it could be quite uncomfortable so heat waves and um, apart from that lately we um, have been suffering from some heat waves and well we have to adapt to this new situation i believe that but the technical will tell us when it comes so we have as well tropical cyclones tropical cyclones it's a, a mix of everything mm -hmm. you have very very strong rain you have very strong wind 
and uh, well droughts well droughts is another word that it's extreme weather the weather that we have here especially mm-hmm. in catalonia we have it's the lack of rainy the lack of rain uh, the well we have lack of rain since long time ago and it's uh, extreme weather because it's provoking very very serious problems and we have floods when suddenly um, um, rains a lot and lots of rain in a very short time we have floods some inundations sí, eh? uh, yeah uh, amounts uh, lots uh, of water in a in a, mm, a very short period of time and well the soil it's isn't able to absorb all this water so it provokes floods eh? when this kind Flows of que rain. pasa a Tarragona y que os pasa a Terrassa y pasamos los puestos um, very, yeah 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 lots of places with this uh, extreme weather conditions and these dangerous situations. Okay, let's go with different ways to say that it's cold. It's cold. It's a bit chilly out there. It's a bit chilly out there. Hasta sadins da casa. And you feel very comfortable because you have your uh, central heating and so on. And you have to go out. You have to leave your home. And you say, oh my God, it's a bit chilly out there. Mm. It's bitter. It's bitter. It's bitter. It's well, can no, it's bitter. It's uh, it's cold as well. It's another way to say it's it's cold. Bitter means eh, amargo. Eh? Una, una cosa es amarga, digamos, it's bitter. So bitter gas, for instance. Por ejemplo. <laughs> Por sí, ejemplo. Sí, sí, sí. So it's bitter. It's the way to express that it's not so comfortable. It's because it's very very cold. And another way, it's it's bitter cold. Eh? It means Hace un frío que, que pela. Sí, sí, que, 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 que no puedes sortir. No, 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 no. It's bitter cold. And it's absolutely freezing out there. Hace un frío que pela y más todavía. Sí, que, que tra- tremolas. Tremolas. El, las dents. Las dents. <laughs> <laughs> ok. And, well, I'm shivering. Shivering means tiritar. It's what we were talking about. Eh? Your teeth are... Uh, shivering, uh, are shivering, are shivering because you feel very, very, very cold, and it's uh, really freezing out there. So you are shivering. Está tiritando, Fred. Okay. Ahora eh, nema parla de que estas frases que usé dit que que o a que estas diferentes maneras de dir que está pluven, porque en tenim moltes. Nema veure. It's pouring down. It's pouring down. Eh, pouring significa derramar. Abuka, so it's pouring down. Está diluviando. It's raining a lot. It's pouring down. We have another fra- another sentence that says it's bucketing it down. A bucket it's una galleda. So mm-hmm. it's bucketing it down. Es que antes están tirando galletas a sobra de agua. Muy bien. Eso significa que bueno, it's raining a lot as well. So remember, it's pouring down. It's bucketing it down. Que significa al mateix aquestes dues frases i després for instance it's a nice weather for a duck that means that well uh, it's a, a nice weather for a duck means que es un bon uh, un, a good weather for a people who doesn't like rain uh, it's a good weather for a duck eh ja show diem que es quan plou també perquè és un moment en que bueno It's a good weather. People who hate rainy days, we can say that. It's a good weather for a dog. Uh, what else? Well, it's raining cats and dogs. Uh, typically, uh, our students know this sentence. I don't know why. Havia, tu coneixies aquesta, aquesta frase, Karma? It's raining cats and dogs. Estan plovent gats i, go- i gossos. I gossos, sí, sí, l'havia, l'havia sentit. sentit. Pues, curiosament... Eh, uh, Lots of students know this sentence, but this is not so usual in England or in the English-speaking countries. So, well, it's raining cats and dogs, but you have to know that this is not the sentence that you are going to listen the most when you go when you uh, go abroad because this is not usually. It's more usually it's pouring it, it's pouring down or it's bucketing down, and so on. Uh, it's just a shower. It's just a shower. Shower sí. significa la ducha. Exacto. Que que plou però passa ràpidament. Exacte. És passejera. És passejera. Ets com una dutxa ràpida. A fast shower, so it's just a shower. Significa que està plovent, però no et preocupis. Això per aviat. It's just a shower. Eh, què més? It's light dry. It's a, li- it's li- a little drizzle. drizzle. A little drizzle. 
està xispejant, eh? Es, jo crec que aquesta, aquesta paraula ja l'havíem dit abans. Sí. It's a little drizzle. Eh? It's a rain, but very, very a little rain and soft, uh, soft rain. Eh? And then we have I'm spitting. Eh, it, oh, sorry, it's spitting. Spitting significa escupir. Sí, eh, gotetes. Exacte. Okay. It's a very, very soft rain as well. Eh? It's, it's spitting. Like, it's spitting, spitting, yeah. It's like it's a little drizzle, so it's spitting. It's exactly the same meaning. I després tenim I'm soaked. I'm soaked, it's uh, you were walking, uh, you were walking around, and suddenly it started raining or bucketing down, and you finally ended up soaked. Oh, that's good. That's good. Empapat. Empapat, <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, uh, that's what happened to me uh, two weeks ago that I went to Sevilla, and curiously, it was raining all the four de- days long. Uh, it seems amazing, it seems incredible, because Sevilla is not the typical way to rain, but it was raining the four days I stayed there. <laughs> and I, well, more than once, I ended up socketed, uh, socketed, socketed. So I ended, well, wet uh, from the top to my feet. Okay, it's hailing, it's hailing. Hasta Padragan. El granizo. El granizo que cau exactly, exactly. It's hailing. And then we have another fr- uh, sentence that I says... I quan el cel està tapat, com la diem? Okay, so the sky is overcast. Uh, we have lots of uh, clouds uh, in the sky, uh, black clouds normally, and we say that the sky is overcast. El cielo está encapotado. Okay, very good. Let's go with uh, another another mm, sentences related. Well, now we are going to mm, say different sentences related to hot when it's hot. So it's boiling. Boiling to boil is bulli alguna cosa. Exacte. When the em it's boiling, it's because it's really um, well. It's really hot. It's very uncomfortable and it's very difficult to live in this weather condition. So when we say it's boiling, it's it, because it's really, really hot. Maybe higher than 40, um, 40 degrees. So it's a very uncomfortable uh, weather condition. It's roasting. It's roasting. Roast is <laughs> from rustic. Pues. <laughs> More or less is the same than it's boiling. It's another way to say that it's it's really, really hot. So it's boiling, it's roasting, and I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> so if I said before that uh, the, um, the, the you can get wet and you can get soaked, when it's raining a lot, you when it's really, really hot, you can say, I'm sweating like a fig. This is a very informal way to say that you're sweating. Así que, bueno, aquí tenim totes una sèrie d'expressions, de frases. I ara, Carme, perquè nos queden només que dos minuts i mig, no tres. A llavors no m'agradaria que mm. em diguessis les temperatures com se diuen, que és molt important. Ok. <coughs> well, we have different ways to measure the temperatures in the US, in USA. They use Fahrenheit degrees and, well, the rest of the world in general use Celsius degrees. So, when we have a negative temperature because it's very cold, we can say it's minus one. It's minus one or it's minus eight or it's minus 10. Uh, it, it's minus 10, it's very, very cold. And when we have positive temperatures, we can say it's 20 degrees. 20, 21, 20, uh, 30 degrees. So it's a minus one or it's 20 degrees. And when we say that, it's in um, Celsius degrees because it's the way to say the temperature all over the world apart from the United States that use the Fahrenheit degrees. O sigui que... Molt bé, pues m'agradaria que ara diguessis a tothom mm. on podem anar a estudiar i aprendre aquest anglès tan meravellós que nos esteu fent. 
cada semana una clase para posarnos al día. Sí, sí. ¿On puede posarnos al día, Pues, Carme? por supuesto, eh, a Big Ben, claro que sí, la vuestra Academia de Idiomas, a San Juan de Espí, este al carrer, Baltasar de España, número 58. El nuestro teléfono es el 93 373 2113. Y tenemos un mundo de promociones. Ya ja lo sabeu, si vens amb un amic Tens una mensualidad gratis y la MIC te dos sesiones gratuitas. Si te apuntas abans de acabar Fabré, tendrás dos clases gratis one to one. Tenemos unas clases de speaking súper interesantes para que posis al día y refresquis el teu speaking y, como no, al curso express en el que en tres meses comenzarás a practicar y a comunicarte en inglés. Así que, un placer estar con vosotros y, bueno, nos vemos la próxima semana. Saludaciones a todos. 